Hello nerds, it's been a bit, a good couple of months, actually. My apologies for giving you an Amogas video instead of this, but I just haven't had the time to record. Uh, hopefully that won't be the issue anymore now that Fire Emblem Engage is done and out of the way. Anyways. Um, so, weren't we learning lore? I'm pretty sure the last thing that we did was learn lore. And, uh, I'll be honest, I should probably make progress somehow. Okay. So, let's see... Let's see if I can't remember the controls for the game. Mm, click to walk. Double click to run. Alright, I think I've got the controls down. Alright, let's see if we can... I don't remember if it's possible for me to deal with the body again. Yeah, we're starting there off strong. He still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all it does now. Well, shit has been compressed. As you breathe in, the odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind telling you to run and your stomach to wring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. It's a puzzle. What's hanging in front of you is a puzzle of decaying flesh tattoos and tendons do they always do that they do after seven days yes we are deep in decomposition here the man before you is naked but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots his skin is greenish marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity a fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders the cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile, they feel alien to the world around you out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They're armor. Possibly part of a larger set. These aren't just boots, are they? They're armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Oh, the lieutenant uses a memo technique, A6. That's not just any notebook. It's a classic. I forget about the notebook. Tell me about the armor. It's clearly some manner of super armor. Or future armor? Super future armor? I'm useless. What kind of armor is this exactly? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the hill. Fairweather. Fairweather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. Material looks out of place here. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. How much are we talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real. Unadjusted for rank. Wait, my yearly pay is 5,500 real? Not too much, yes. So, sounds puny. No wonder I can't pay my hostel bill. It's a sorry situation, I agree. How could this man afford such expensive hardware? That's for us to find out. Mr. Gart implied he was security personnel for the Harbour Company. This confirms my own assumptions. You look pretty advanced for a security guard. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. 
What happened to the rest of it? The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more arm after seven days. We should keep a look up for these pieces. The armor could yield information. Maybe he'll know something. Ah, uh, fuck, not Kuno. Maybe he was just wearing these boots and there is no rest of the armor? No, he must have worn something precious underneath his clothes. They've removed all his clothes to get to it. They did not just strip him for the putrid rags. What if they told him to strip before they hung him? To demean him? They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre, the Mazda, the best Mertis and the like. This one still has his underpants. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. Clearly Kuno would like to interject something here, but there's not enough for him to hold on to. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, an ominous creaking sound comes from above. Stop! Pig's gonna pull his head off. <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? You're going to pull his head off. Do it, Homo! Do what? Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. Indeed. From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. Being dead for a week has all but liquefied his muscles. What are you trying to achieve anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Are we not detectives? There may be clues inside the boot. Maybe we should concentrate on what's outside the boot and leave what's inside to the boys at processing? Just this once. Besides, there's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? You're sure there's a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs to be down. And second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. Hmm. The anticipation makes you crack your fingers. Feels nice. Nice and cracky. Okay, got it. Processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fight. Should we continue? The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos, and extremities blotched pink and blue. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for airlifting cargo. Airlifting? I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. Apparently this is the reinforced kind for air transport. My brain tells me so. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. They sure wanted him to stay up there. The rope is reinforced with steel wiring. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. So we're assuming the dock workers from the harbor did it. The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? My past has undergone total annihilation. Nothing remains. My mother, the love of my life. Certainly not a briefing. Okay, you should ask me for one the first moment we get. How did they even get him up there? A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. They climb up using the kid's ladder? That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. Could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus, 
Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. Is this a national pattern? Of no nation that I know of. If anything, it reminds me of religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh lives often turn to inauthentic worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. We're missing something here. I agree. <laughs> he wears a wide leather belt around his waist and a gun holster under his arm. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound. A shrill flash. Followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. In case we need it. Mm, what do we need the, co the photo for? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Can I have it? I should look at it later. Without the corpse smell. Sure. Just don't lose it. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just subaquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head, his face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Tell me, who are you, dead man? The corpse is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through you as you distance yourself from its stench. Eyes like a shark. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. His face and hands are pink. Thighs, too. I see it. His neck, too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So what do you think? I think he was up right after death. His hands, feet and neck are discolored. Agreed especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Maybe he was strangled by someone? Yes, there's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. He's been beaten up. Do you see the bruises? I do. 
Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. It means you fucked him up good, Kuno. Fucked him up brutal-like. Uh, something's coming out of him. A pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck are you saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, no, we're not going to shout the gamer words back. Maybe he went to the toilet sometime before death. Maybe. I think he's dead. I agree. His personality is no longer a part of the world. Totally dead. Deady, dead, dead, dead. Dabba doob doob dead. <laughs> but there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. So how do we get him down? Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. We've been thorough. Do you have a plan for getting him down? Hmm. The steel reinforced belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. He doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. We could saw the branch. Climb up there and saw the branch? Yeah, it seems dangerous. There has to be a less risky way with less falling down of trees. Maybe we could shoot him down? Yeah! Bang bang time pig, shoot his head off! How? With the buckle ties the rope to the branch, that's a good spot to aim. There. The buckle holds the belt together. Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain the Kuno with some shit. They'll miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel separates the scouring stick and gives the cartridge five tucks, securing it in place. That's a Kiel A9090 armistice, mass-produced muzzle loader, ascetic, frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. His voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. A lot of things were wrong with that shot. The Phalostes was the wrong choice. His shoulders were raised, but above all, he cannot trust his eyesight. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? It's okay, man. Kuno's sorry too. Kuno feels sorry for the Vino Cloud. The lieutenant doesn't say a word, just looks at the gun in his hand. Try again, maybe? No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. What now? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. You know, you don't feel like too bad of a shot yourself. 
Can I have the gun? I should try. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. <laughs> I only have one gun! This is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Yeah, take it, you fucking banani boinka! Take it and shoot yourself in the mouth! A cold piece of bakelite and gunmetal is surprisingly light. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. You've held this, an A9 armistice, before. At some point, it probably used to be your choice of firearm. It still feels comfortable, like you never laid it down. The fuck are you waiting for, Kuno? Tell him to shoot himself in the mouth! The buckle comes into focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least you won't miss. I fucking want to. Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the noon light as the corpse slowly rotates. The slow movement of the branch in the wind and your shoulders directing the gun sink up, dancing hypnotically. Mm, bad time for a message. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? Shut up. For what? You gonna fuck me? You wanna fuck me, pig? Is that what this is about? The buckle explodes into tiny pieces, coming loose with a whir. With your hand numb from the recoil, you look at the body slump down. For a moment, the man appears to kneel in front of you, looking straight at you, helpless, trapped within itself. Who killed you? Communism. It takes a millisecond for the association to flash within your cortex. You have no idea where it's coming from, only that it's right. Then the rigor in his muscles gives up and he smashes sideways into the spring mud, letting out a horrid stench. <laughs> Who's laughing now, you little shit? Well, fuck you, Kurpale! How did I do that? By being a damn good shot. Ace is high. The ace is high. A custom invented by the aerostatic <laughs> brigades during the revolution is used to celebrate success in Revachon, especially in sports. The gesture is spread across the world, despite the defeat of the revolutionaries themselves. You could add an ace's low to it, if you like, by turning your back after the high and waiting for another. Yeah, fuck it. The high arrives with a sharp slap. As you turn around, there is a moment of doubt. Feels like that low ain't gonna connect. Chill. It's gonna connect. But then it does. And with furious precision, <laughs> the lieutenant is not one to leave an ace's low hanging. There's a dead body in front of us. I knew these guys were f and what now? We will perform a field autopsy and determine the cause of death. But before... Excuse me. Slumped on the ground like that has not improved the way the corpse smells. The fall seems to have released something deep inside it. It looks like I feel like taking a break from the stench. I'm sorry to interrupt the jubilations here. Just a little breather before we do the autopsy. All right. In the meantime, we should try to interview Evrard Claire, the leader of the Union. Harbour property was clearly used in the hanging. The harbour just east of here. Getting in might prove a challenge, though. I would also suggest we interview Joyce, the Wild Pines representative. But we've already done that, so good for us. One down, one to go. Is this the famous list of initial interviews? Yes. And those were the interviewees. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Didn't Kuno seem to need and have information I need? 
Ugh. Anyways. I feel like I could do with some more endurance. Maybe. Maybe empathy. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so don't mind me. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. The pattern still kind of has an ethnic feel to it, but nothing familiar. So we have a good number of things to do. Uh, find the rest of the armor, get the hangman's boots, ask him to tell me more about the case, uh, figure out the tattoos, perform an autopsy, and interview the union boss. Uh, something to do with the horseback monument? All right. All right, let's see what the brat has to say. Kim, you're in the way. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Kim. Fuck this coon, okay? Yeah. He's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here for some time, too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Hey, Kuno, think you can turn the Kuno down for a moment? Maybe talk like a normal person for a bit? Trying to fuck at the Kuno? Trying to fuck at me? Trying to fuck? Kuno only gets higher. It's faster, faster, faster. Can't take the Kuno. Stay out of the reactor. Kuno gonna fuck you up, 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 up. Normal is not what we got here. You've got to work with what you have for now. I found your shack, Kuno. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for 5,000 years. How the fuck did you get in? I pushed the panels aside, Kuno. And then what? You fucking there? You fucking Kuno's kingdom? He's trying to fuck at you again, Kuno. Is that my code up there? I'm pretty sure it's mine. Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno surprised you've still got your head after all that. After all what? Don't sweat it, drunk pig. Kuno will keep your nasty secrets. Kuno's not snitching. He's saying you climbed up there. He probably saw you do it. Yeah, that conclusively explains how the coat got up there. Hmm. Could I get into the harbor from the roof? Course you fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just got a fly, pig. I tried that. It didn't go so well. Kuno knows. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. Not everyone can face the fear, Kuno style. That's all there is to it, then. Don't be a pansy. Just jump. I found a plate covered with powder residue. Know anything about it? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. What's with the pig head? Oh, that? Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. <laughs> demo tape? Like some kind of a musician? Yeah, Kuno plays on snuff radio, fucks pigs, live, fucks their heads off. Kuno's a cop killer. Uh-huh. What's with the two of Magnesala? Magnesala? What's with the two of a men? What's with the two of Magnesala, Kuno? I'm, I'm gonna get this word right sooner or later. It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? You could use them. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker. And you could use a bottle. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. Come on, it's just magnesium. Don't mystify it. You're not getting this, pig. It completely takes away the hangover. 
It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. I've heard enough of this. Good call, pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuna about his kingdom. I want to discuss the body with you again, Kuno. The fuck about it? Where's the rest of his armor? Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. How come? Kuno's fucking imp's got one big thing wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. A mutant? Look at him. Fucking growth hormone shit. He's a giant. The armor's too big for any man. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. What do you mean you threw it away? Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. You threw it in the sea? Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustache union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gates. Who do you mean troubadour? Yeah, cock in boot. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit? Came around pretending like he cares about cows? Yes, you met him at the gates. The one with the boots and the jolly smile. You mean Manana? Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? And you're just telling me this out of the kindness of your heart, Kuno. Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Kuno day. Kuno feels sorry for you two loser pigs. Kuno's doing pity now. Still, seems suspicious. He may have it in for that guy. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility, sire. There are contusions all over his body. Did you do that? Fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. A contusion is a bruise. I'm talking about the marks your stones are leaving on the corpse. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. Hmm. You hear the lieutenant hum. More on this later. Let's talk about something else right now. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost! Is there anything new in the shack? The fuck do you want with it? No. Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. Okay, I'm off. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. So there's a lack of magnesium in me? Yes, and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. So I need to mag it up? You need to get so magged up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. You're saying I need to become a magnesium-based life form? Yes. If you want to live, you need to evolve. You need to transcend the carbon barrier. Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse the damage to your circulatory system. <laughs> 